So imagine a world where robots handle your chores, cook you food, and even have meaningful conversations. Well, this future may soon become a reality, with many organizations joining the race to build and deploy the most advanced AI humanoid robot. In this video, I'm gonna showcase some of the most intelligent AI robots that are currently being developed. And who knows, maybe one day you may see the same robot standing in your kitchen, making you a sandwich. So without further ado, let's get started. Starting off with one of the latest AI robots to be announced, the S1 robot by Astrobot. Now, according to its Chinese-based company, the S1 is apparently the fastest AI robot in comparison to all its competitors. Coming in with a max speed of 10 meters per second, which equates to about 36 kilometers, it's by far the fastest robot. Take a look at this video where it attempts to do the triple three stack in about 1.8 seconds. For context, the world record by an actual human human is about 1.4 seconds. This next clip blew my mind. Ask yourself how confident would you be pulling a tablecloth underneath six wine glasses that are stacked on top of each other? Now, if you're still not impressed, it's also able to prepare food in the kitchen, do the laundry, and clean up the place using a vacuum. Now there's currently no price tag, but the robot is slated to be released in 2024. Speaking of price tags, that leads me to my next robot, the G1 by Unitree. Not to be confused with its older brother, the H1, which is a very fast and advanced robot. The G1 appears to be the cheaper alternative to the H1 with a price tag of only $16,000. In comparison to the H1 model, which is estimated to be about just under $90,000. Watch how it cracks this walnut on a table. It has about 23 to 43 joint motors in comparison to the 20 joints that the H1 model has. This would deem G1 more flexible than the new Atlas robot, which has only 28 joints. So this is hands down the cheapest advanced AI robot currently available. And I'm waiting for Unitree to update their website so I can get more information about it. Moving on to the next robot, which is actually one of my favorites, Apollo by Aptronic. Now, according to the CEO, Jeff Cardenas, their target price for Apollo is very similar to the price tag of a car. They estimate that it would be roughly $15,000 US. Now, Apollo was introduced in mid-2023. Most of the videos that were released at the time showcased Apollo completing various tasks within the warehouse. According to Abtronic, Apollo can lift about 25 kilograms, which makes it the strongest robot out of all of its competitors. And back then, they also released this video, which showed Apollo's facial animation whilst communicating, but the video appeared to be CGI and there was also no audio. Fast forward to 2024, where Aptronic showcased Apollo at an open event. During the event, not only did Apollo demonstrate its ability to communicate in real time. Yemi, you know what's up. I've seen nothing. We've been working on this keynote forever. It also started dancing with the host on stage. Now, Aptronic went and visited some kids at school and they asked them what they thought Apollo should do. They took that information back to the developers and the engineers and they brainstormed some ideas of what Apollo could do in the future. That includes environment cleaning, washing the dishes, search and rescue missions, and annoying and repetitive tasks. They also interviewed the CEO of Aptronic and here's what he had to say about Apollo. And as humans, our most valuable resource is time. And so sort of the core idea of what these robots will do for us is hopefully they'll give us all back time so that we can spend time on things that we want to do instead of things that we have to do. Now, all those tasks are going to require a lot of battery life for those robots, which leads me to the next robot with the longest lasting battery, Figure One by Figure or the OpenAI robot. So for those who don't know, OpenAI, the creators of ChatGPT have partnered up with Figure, which potentially could mean this robot could be the most intelligent robot in comparison to the rest of the robots. Now, Figure showed off what its robot can do back in February this year, and I was actually shocked with what I saw. Hey, Figure One, what do you see right now? I see a red apple on a plate in the center of the table, a drying rack with cups and a plate, 
and you standing nearby with your hand on the table. Great, can I have something to eat? Sure thing. On the assumption that it was trained on the ChatGPT4 model, it actually follows instructions really well. Now with newer models of ChatGPT releasing every year, I anticipate that the robot will get quicker and it will have the ability to complete tasks that are more complex and require multiple steps. Price tag and the release date is yet to be confirmed. Moving on to our next robot, we have Phoenix by Sanctuary AI. So it's actually tied first with Apollo as the strongest robot. However, it's much quicker than Apollo as it's capable of reaching speeds of up to five kilometers or three miles per hour. Now, 10 months ago, Sanctuary released a few videos showcasing Phoenix's abilities like stacking blocks, lifting weights, and even scanning items. Now, one thing I noticed after watching their latest video, which got released about a month ago, is how much quicker Phoenix has gotten. So Phoenix is available as a rental model as opposed to a one-time purchase. Next, we have Atlas by Boston Dynamics, which replaces their Atlas HD model, which could have been deemed as the most flexible and agile robot, having the ability to do backflips. Now, we don't really know much about the new Atlas model. If it has better mobility than the Atlas HD, then I anticipate Boston Dynamics will be releasing some amazing videos very soon on their YouTube channel. No price tag or release date has been announced for this robot either. Lastly, we have Tesla's Optimus. Now, the only thing we can say about Optimus is that it has the cleanest design out of all of the robots. Now, Elon has confirmed that Optimus was trained on some of the data from the Tesla self-driving technology. This could make for a big advantage in the future. Now, Tesla has showcased some of Optimus's abilities like walking around the office, and sorting out items. Now it has one big plus that all of its competitors don't have. And that big plus is Elon Musk. Another plus Tesla will have in comparison to the rest of the market is the ability to mass produce these robots within their gigafactories. Anyway, that's it for the video guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know if I missed any or if there's any more that you would like me to review. But I really appreciate you guys watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.